Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's April 5th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey, Head of Municipal Capital Markets for Build America Mutual. Grant, thanks for taking some time today. A big day for economic news. We got the March unemployment report or employment report. Uh, what did we learn? Big day for earthquake. I don't know if you just felt it, Mike, but uh, <laughs> a Westchester County earthquake. But uh, we had a little uh, action this morning. Also, there was a strong headline uh, non-farm payroll number that you know, continues to fuel uh, the higher for longer bearish camps. So you had 303,000 uh, new jobs uh, created versus an expectation of 214,000 and a slight upward revision to February. Uh, average hourly earnings also were steady, uh, actually increased slightly uh, month over month, 0.3%, and it's 4.1% 4, 4 uh, on an an uh, annualized basis. So you know, it's a very broad-based jobs uh, story. Question remains, um, you know, when the tightening cycle will begin and, and uh, you know, exactly um, uh, and, and by how much we'll see. So we have CPI and PPI next week, so I'm sure that will go some ways towards uh, – um, towards helping to uh, to answer that question. So yeah, I think that's a great observation, right? Some of the um, information in today's report, as far as it went for inflation, did show uh, you know wage trends and things still remaining somewhat in check. But again, with uh, the strong uh, employment growth, you know you know the Fed's going to want to see the direct inflation numbers as they uh, calibrate when it would be time to pivot. Uh, exactly. There, um, I think uh, there's been all sorts of expectations for a June cut, and and uh, <clears throat> I think that has been. Um, that has certainly been questioned. So uh, we did see finally some capitulation in municipal yields this week. Uh, Ten-year, thirty-year uh, yields were down, you know, twelve to fifteen basis points. I'm sorry, or or higher by twelve to fifteen basis points. Um, and that has come after you know several weeks of, of very strong uh, performance. Um, over the past four weeks, we've seen kind of a steady climb in the ten-year. Um, about uh, 30 basis points to a 437, and the 30-year Treasury uh, about 20 basis points back to a 445. So that has put some additional uh, pressure on secondary liquidity uh, in the market, and that helped translate into a very strong week for us uh, in secondary market insurance. Actually, the uh, the biggest week of the year so far. I think um, you know that is fairly typical in softer markets as investors. Uh, place more of a premium on on liquidity and safety. Um, and some of that has to be related to the strong volume we've seen year to date and the fact that, you know, although we are seeing uh, net inflows to municipal bond mutual funds, uh, we saw another positive number from Lipper this week. Uh, it's not necessarily matching the supply that issuers are bringing into the market. Exactly. We actually have, uh, uh, we had net uh, new issuance was, uh, was up by about 11 billion. And then uh, actually April, uh, will be the strongest net issuance month. That means, um, you know, new issue supply versus the amount of bonds being redeemed uh, will be the highest since uh, the middle of 2022. So again, that could continue to put a little bit of pressure uh, on on yields, which I think is fine given that municipals have been pretty rich to, uh, to taxables and, and treasuries uh, on a ratio basis. Um, next week, the, the calendar totals about 10.7 billion. So uh, we're not going to get um, you know any relief there. We have uh, a solid taxable issuance uh, of that 10.7 is about 1.1. Uh, supplies headlined by a billion and a half Cal State geos uh, and another 400 million Louisiana geos, which was just upgraded, uh, and then several higher ed deals. Uh, there was Harvard. This past week, but uh, next week there's a 1.1 billion dollar deal for Cornell University and a smaller loan for uh, Amherst uh, College and University of Nevada. So um, you know we have municipal issuance as we kind of wrapped up the quarter uh, at the end of last week was up 33 uh, percent over the same period in 2023. Uh, and um, you know if you annualize the volume, which uh, uh, we're only a quarter through. It gets us to 460 billion, which is about 100 billion above uh, uh, where we ended up last year, and, and potentially a little optimistic. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, there have been a lot of observations by analysts that they expected volume in 2024 to be front-loaded. A lot of uh, bankers and advisors are suggesting to their clients that if you're gonna 
raise capital in 2024, do it before the fourth quarter, just thinking there might be volatility around the presidential election uh, starting on right. October 1st, and that it would be easier to access the markets now. So it is rational to think that uh, the, the volume that we're seeing right now might be a little elevated and not uh, extendable throughout the year, especially if uh, refundings don't come back into the market. And again, back to that question of when does the Fed start easing rates, uh, that's going to drive some refunding activity. There are definitely transactions that are callable if and when they're in the money. Uh, they're just not there yet. I, I, I agree with that, certainly. The BAM insured calendar, we, uh, you know, we'll we look at next week first. Uh, it's a fairly full calendar, $550 million of uh, BAM insured bonds scheduled to price. That's going to be led back in the higher education sector, as you noted, by Oklahoma University has a $217 million issue that's going to be priced by Barclays. We're also looking at an $87 million issue for the Midland County Hospital District in Texas. That's going to be priced by J.P. Morgan. And $45 million for the city of Bloomington, Indiana's uh, wastewater system. That's a Stiefel transaction. Uh, and that comes after a, a busy week this past week with uh, $321 million of, of new issues priced. Uh, that was led by $196 million out of a, a slightly larger total uh, city of Chicago wastewater transaction that was priced by Loop Capital uh, and some school district transactions from uh, Arizona and Kansas uh, that, that wrapped out the rest of the calendar. So thanks again for your time this uh, week, Grant. We'll, uh, we'll watch how uh, the market performs. Thanks, Mike. Should be a nice week next week. Thank you.